Paddock Building Clampers, welcome back for another episode of Free and Budget Campsites, Queensland. Mate, my name's Peter, I'm travelling around Australia, road testing campsites. Mate, before we get right into the show, just a quick reminder to turn your notifications on. Don't forget to subscribe guys, and at the end of the video give us a like or a dislike, up to you. But anyway, we're at Neil Turner Weir. It's on River Street in Mitchell. It's around six and a half hours away from Brisbane, and Roma's about one hour away from here. It's around 90 k's out of Roma. So look, do yourself a favor, pop out, have a look at it. Mate, it is really nice. Um, all right, let's have a look at the park. I'll show you some campsites, the toilet and the playgrounds, and some camp kitchens around here. Wouldn't say it's camp kitchens again, but we'll give it a go. We'll be driving down the state, yeah Looking around for the next crowd, yeah Going our own way Trying to find a new road, yeah We'll be going in circles Trying to find a way Searching for The things we do, yeah Drop top without a choice, yeah Hair blown round to the window Singing stupid noise, or will you? I just wanna get to know ya I wanna go far to the coast, yeah I wanna drive fast to the ocean I wanna know all of you Growing old like a ghost, yeah I wanna have kids of my own, yeah Live a life till it's over But until we do It's sleeping soon Yeah, I'm feeling a little crazy Sat at home being lazy Wanna travel till I'm 80 Flying with you uh. Wanna take on the world and do something Would you by my side like it's nothing? Wanna buy you things that you wanted Wanna find you Drop top without a choice, yeah Hair blow around to the window Singing stupid noise, so will you? I just wanna get to know ya I wanna go far to the coast, yeah I wanna drive fast to the ocean I wanna know all of you Righto, Clampers Here's some of the campsites Look, there's campsites all around the edges All around the other side And also in the middle Now, look, the ground is not perfect here um, On the outskirts of the uh, park itself They're a little bit more leveller But in... Uh, the center, you gotta have to chock your van up for sure. I'm just scooch over this way a bit. Right behind me, where all these caravans are, there's a concrete slab. How great is that? Now it's already full already with the um, campers there, so you can't get them. So you have to get in early to actually get that slab. So let's have a look at the rest of the park. Let's go. We're in the middle of the park right now. Look, this it's sort of broken up to, well, I've broken it up three locations. You've got the middle section, you've got the far right-hand side, and you've got the far left-hand side where the toilets are. Now, there's more camping areas up there. I will show you during the show and everything else, but this is about the middle of the camp area. Now, look, you've got some dirt here and mud and stuff. Look, I'd advise you if it does rain, don't park in this section because you will get bogged. I have been looking around here and I have seen a lot of tyre tracks that people have, you know, if you haven't got a four-wheel drive, don't come in here, man. Seriously, stay on the outside in the grass. Perfect. Now this side here, look, I've been looking around at the moment and there's bins everywhere. It comes to the favourite part of the show. Remember, when you come to places like this, take all your crap with you. No choice. No, 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 no. Right now, here's some of the campsites I told you about across this other side of the road. Look, you've got quite a few people here, and I've been noticing them. And there's a big bus over here, which he hasn't even chucked his wheels up at all. So I'm assuming, well, like I said, you should never assume, but it is pretty level over there. So look, there's plenty of places both sides of the park itself, so don't park too close to anyone. No worries. Let's have a little bit look more of the park. Righto, we're in near enough the middle, would you say? The toilets are right next to me, I'll show you them very shortly, but I thought I'd show you the donation box. Here it is here, you can't miss it. The good old trusty donation box. No, looks like you have to put coins in there. 
uh, the slot is only very small. You might be able to fold up a five dollar note and squeeze it in there. Give it a go. I'm going to try the five dollar note and see if it actually goes in there. But if you've got coins, ching 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 ching, stick them in. Why not? Just a couple of bucks. It helps the place come along. You know, for toilet paper, maintenance, and everything else. You know what I mean? We've still got a fair bit up there to go. I'll show you that very shortly. The campsite's up there. Look, you've got a playground area here and a big sign that says Mitchell. Now it's got some information on here. Let me have a quick look. Oh, look at this. It's got all the. Uh, Telephone numbers for this local area, um, places to stop. Uh, look, yeah, look, when you come here, read this, take a picture of it, keep it on your phone. You never know, you might need some of the numbers on there. Let's have a look at the rest of the park. This is a really nice park. I could stay here for a week. Seriously, it is really nice. Quiet. Yes, where I'm parked, it's a bit noisy because it's right near the weir. I love it. I, I looked at it. I'll show you that later in the show, uh, a bit closer up. Let's go have a look at more of the park. Well, actually, let's go have and have a look at the um, so-called camp kitchen. What do you reckon? Let's go. Ah. Yo, the camp kitchen. Well, I wouldn't really say it's a camp kitchen. So it's a barbecue area. But there is a tub over there that you can wash stuff and everything else. I will show you very shortly, but I'll show you right now the barbecues. That right, uh, look at the barbecues at the moment, which are great. They're electric barbecues. One's clean, one's not. Yeah, they're all right. That stuff will come off pretty easy. You scrape it off. Now, look, you've got the electric barbecues. It's the average thing. If you don't know how to do them, what you do is you come up to here and you push this button. Wait for a while, it gets hot and then you laugh and then you can cook on it. But right out under undercover eating areas, which is fantastic in my books. If it rains, you can still eat underneath there and you can still be dry. Now also while you're here, I've showed you the barbecues. You've also got wooden barbecues over there too. Let's have a look at that wash basin. Right, uh, this is the wash basin I told you about before. It's not really a cam kitchen, but you can actually use it to wash your dishes out and everything else. Now, so it's a UV filtered um, water. It's all right to drink, it's fine. We've got a uh, tap just over there, which I'll show you. You can actually fill up your RV and everything else. There is water over there that you can actually use. It's fresh. Well, I wouldn't say it's fresh, but it's filtered water. Right, now on the women's side of the toilet, that's where the water is. There's a tap right here. And I've also seen a beautiful lady just fill up a, a couple of bottles from inside. So I'm assuming you can drink the water from inside. But here's the tap here. And it's portable water. Now, by rights, you might be able to park your van and fill your van up, maybe. Oh, no, the toilets. Look, I've had a quick look at them, um, and what I've seen so far, they're not too bad. They've got hand sanitizer or um, soap. Uh, they've got no paper towel. Uh, the toilets are not too bad. They need to be cleaned and everything else. But, uh, they're pretty good otherwise. They've got lots of toilet paper. Um, look, seriously, out of five, I'll give it around at least three and a half. They're flushing toilets, which are great. That's the toilet. Uh, the park has even got a playground for your kids. Mate, it's from the Rotary Club. Thanks for the Rotaries for donating all your um, stuff. And it keeps our kids occupied, which is great. Look, it's a bit of a slippery slide, a bit of a climby thing and everything else. Keeps them occupied for a while. But look, seriously, there's lots of around here to explore. you just got to be careful when you go near the weir. Just in case they do go in, they could... We don't know what's in there. So just be careful when you do come near the weir. Don't go for a swim at the moment because it is pretty full and it is raining and the creek is moving pretty fast. Rightio, clampers. Mate, just letting you know that the uh, great artesian spas, they're at the visitor's centre. So do yourself a favour, pop in, ask a few questions about it, get a few pamphlets and everything else. Have a look, and trust me, the water is fantastic. They're $8, and there is concessions for other people and everything else. There's two pools. One's a heated pool, one's a bit of a cooler pool. Depends what you like. Now, both pools are really easy access through wheelchair or people with less mobility. What a fantastic place to come. 
clampers, it's the shitty part of the show. The dump point. It's on the same road, but be careful when you cross the intersection in the middle of the town, it changes to Alice Street. It's just down the road at the showgrounds. You can't miss it. As you can tell, dump site is huge, mate. Seriously, as you can tell before, it is a big place. Um, plenty of clearance for your van to come in and plenty of places to turn around. Now let's have a look and see if it's clean. Beautiful clampers. Mate, it's one of these ones that don't have a gauge on it at all. So you can actually stick your pipe right through um, and not make a mess. Now you've got a toilet over the left hand, right hand side of me. Females and males, they look like they're open and the gate is open too. I'm looking at the gate itself and there's no actual lock on the gate. So they're gonna be open, I'm, I'm assuming. Remember, never assume, makes an ass of yourself. I'm assuming they're open 24 seven. So look, when you come down here, park up, do what you need to do and everything else, you're laughing. Right, uh, we're in the last section of the park. Mate, there is plenty and plenty of spaces down here, as you can tell behind me. You've also got sections around the creek area. You can have camp close to the creek. Just letting you know also, they have got bins down here, so you don't have to walk all the way down near the toilet where the bins are. They've got bins in every section of the park. Right, yeah, it looks like there's allocations. You can actually come down right near the river's edge. Now, look, I do advise not to, just in case the rain comes. It's only around a metre and a half up, and then you're going under. Look, if you look behind me right now, and like I said, if you do park down here, do it at your own risk. What a night. It was so peaceful out here, except, like I said, if you can just see behind me, is the weir. It doesn't turn off. It's on all the time, so it feels like, it sounds like you're right near a hydro station. So look, it's beautiful actually. It's nice, it put me to sleep really good. It is a bit nippy this morning um, out here. Look, it is coming into winter very shortly, so it will get cold here during the night and during the morning. But during the day, it's beautiful out here. And look, there's plenty of things to do around here. Righto, Neil Turner Weir. Bit of information about the weir itself. The weir holds back the waters of the Marana River. It's about five kilometers away from Mitchell itself. The weir holds a great little fishing spot. It's called the Fisherman's Rest. The weir was built in 1984 and the capacity of 2,000 megalitres. Mitchell is situated on the banks of the Marano River. Mitchell was named after Sir Thomas Mitchell, who camped on the Marano River on June the 3rd, 1846, and he named it then. During his expedition of an overland route from Sydney to the Gulf of Carpentaria. Look, also, phone reception. Mate, phone reception's not too bad out this way. Yeah, it comes and goes. I get around two bars to three bars. Maximum is four, I didn't get four at the moment. Uh, it did go down to 3G, four bars, but then it went back up to 4G, three bars to two bars. Yeah, the phone reception's pretty good. Also, pet friendly. It is a pet friendly place. Make sure your dog's on a leash. Look, I haven't seen many dogs around here. There is a few dogs around the place. There is a couple of running, not running wild, but they are staying next to their owners. So look, if it's a good tame dog, ah, don't worry about it, don't worry about a leash. But if it is a bit of a mm, dog, put it on a leash. Neil Turner Weir. Do yourself a favor, come out this way. It's not very far. It's around an hour away from Roma. Come out, spend a couple of days, really nice. Guys, like I said before at the beginning of the video, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want. Doesn't worry me. But hit the subscribe button, that's a must. And if you want to get the latest videos on Oz RV free and budget campsites, turn your notifications on, guys. You have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon in the next campsite.